Happy International Women's Day! <laughs> Priecīga sieviešu dienu! And you are welcome here in my channel. I'm Iveta from Latvia. English isn't my main language. I can make mistakes. So anyway, I hope you will stay here with me and spend time with me in this video where I will have like a vlog and a small podcast part. So yeah, welcome. <laughs> let's let's go and watch. <laughs> I really love that I have free Mondays from main work and I really can enjoy coffee and book. Actually, I was reading till the two o'clock at the night. International Women's Day today, March 8, and uh, this will gonna be a very short uh, podcast, I think, because I didn't do much in this week. I haven't done much in this week, so <laughs> it is what it is. Um, time flies. I had uh, a lot of work uh, for web page where I am working for my employer <laughs> and uh, also I had uh, my business work I needed to tackle some orders uh, yeah oh, I <laughs> I got obsessed with one book I just was really obsessed to read it as fast as it is possible because it was interesting and also 
not so much time left for my knitting there is a life part family <laughs> everything yeah. i think the crafters who are knitters whatever is it a sewing knitting or crocheting whatever you want to do you have this a small part of time when you are able to do your craft and you are doing that craft in the same time you are thinking about your future projects and you are thinking what you want to do and there is so less time for it and you are changing your project so maybe I need this maybe I do this also I want to sew a dress for myself again eh, I don't have a time I think I will spend this time <laughs> that was my cat sorry uh, kids it's a kids <laughs> um okay where i lost my mind yeah and i think i will spend my weekend by selling some more a uh, clothes piece for myself because i feel i am now again in a linen mood I, I want to wear something from linen and I want to match it with the uh, knitting clothes therefore I'm looking forward to find the clothes what I can uh, match together with a dress or blouse or oh I'm ready to wear uh, pants I did it this week I feel very good and uh, yes I think I got, I think I'm well right now after my uh, small surgery and I'm able to be a human again <laughs> and yeah and maybe I will show you what I knitted and after all I will tell something else but let's do this here I have my two ladies two project bags Boom. which I made and also I have a tutorial <laughs> have fun <laughs> with that at least I had fun to make them and now I have two project bags I'm using them and I have three three more project bags and yeah I can cast on many new projects <laughs> and I will do this but for now I will show you what I was knitting this week this week I worked with this anchor tea top but I'm knitting like a sweater I started uh, adding a new color so now I'm knitting two colors it's a dark green and light green this and I finish it in creases for my arm, body and arms so it will gonna be um, quite in my style I hope uh, this time I, 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 this is my second piece of my hair version of this uh, design and I think at first one I had not so fluffy and maybe thinner more hair because this one turns out bigger i started increases uh, even in the last row of uh, ribbing pattern but in that time i started uh, only after a fifth round of ribbing pattern uh, here i have six originally you have five rounds of this pattern but i made a neck, a neck part like smaller and uh, higher because in that pattern you don't have you have only this like this but i want a higher neckline I think it in this way it looks good on me so I'm ready to separate body from sleeves and continue to knit this uh, colors 
and actually this this collar will be on body part only for ripping and for sleeve of course more so i'm i am doing it like in one line that uh, one color starts in one line for body and for sleeves yeah, and I'm so happy for this I really love color I think it looks very very nice I hope this soon will be ready and I can show you uh, next uh, next I started uh, mm, it's would it, this would be kind of summer type uh, garment but I'm knitting it uh, I think the fifth time it's a, uh, it's a Cecilia top <laughs> this is my pattern and I'm using uh, my super old stash merino wool yarn I showed you last time that I had started this project. I'm knitting on needles 2.5 and this is how it looks. I'm on body part so I need to, I just need to knit body and that's all. And it's ready. Uh, I really love how this fabric looks and i really love a color i hope this color will look good on me always this cushion i have so and yes i was uh, switching one project to other other to this one and it was my week and uh, yes somehow my main work uh, took a lot of time of day after that i felt myself quite tired because it's hard to concentrate on table uh, like excel tables and uh, web page and uh, a lot of numbers and yes it's very hard after i feel quite tired and actually i had that feeling that i don't want to knit i go after uh, after walk uh, my work this week I prefer to spend time cooking food chilling with a book <laughs> I don't know why it was so maybe I will finish as soon will finish it my book and maybe my priority will be a knitting next week yes so yeah uh, next what I want to tell you. Uh, I didn't finish any unfinished projects which I was planning to do but it's for all much. It's not uh, for next week. I just need to do during uh, March so I will. No pressure to myself. Yes and uh, today I'm wearing um, this is uh, a blouse linen blouse from my design Yvette Bauman, my shop I think I need to renew a listing, yes uh, I'm wearing uh, also I will add you how it looks uh, skirts which I finished from last week I'm wearing um, skirts from uh, oh, blouse makes some um, wrinkles but yes I'm wearing a uh, skirt for, from Milena uh, uh, Paulina Milena Paulina <laughs> I will add the designer I really love this pattern it's very I think it's very classic and yes looking pattern it gives me some 90s vibe I really love a fashion from 90s. I really love watch Friends because of that time fashion. I adore it. And yes, and I have one acquisition, which is this uh, earrings. See, so beautiful. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is so feminine and amazing uh, gift. I'm really, really happy for it. I just met my uh, very old uh, friend, friend, maybe colleague. I just don't know how to call her, but uh, we have uh, had in common sewing things and designing so she's a designer she graduated uh, uh, art academy as a fashion designer she's selling also um, usually wedding dresses but she loves to uh, do some sculpture things so she's making these earrings too and it looks very very nice my daughter uh, sold me just some minutes ago in this and she said oh my god wow mom you look so beautiful you look so good yes <laughs> and i feel so it's very nice i hope uh, uh yes and i feel so and it's so good i love these earrings oh and they are so light Actually, I will add an Instagram account. I really want to support her. It's such a type of friends where you have a common things about creativity, crafty, and and selling your crafts. And we always have been changing in our <laughs> my cats. We always have been changing in our experience about it and we yes and i would love to do this in the future too with her because yeah and actually i were i learned very much from her uh about sewing and um, <laughs> bear with this they are running right now this is not the time where they are sleeping but they are running right now yes and when i was studying uh, also uh, fashion design i she was my teacher like from practice Praxe. you know there is a type of people you don't met them in the real life but you time to time you speak with them um, uh, virtually <laughs> and uh, it's so nice to meet them in real life but yes we are so busy that uh, that time you need to schedule <laughs> your time to meet met someone and yes this would be that uh, person which I would love to meet uh, more <laughs> in real life okay and um, for creativity that's it and uh, i can tell you i have a plan to make a special episode about uh, bingo game in our uh, latvian knitter community and it's very i think it's interesting and uh, yes maybe you would be interested to watch it and took part virtually just for fun of course uh, in our latvian community uh, knitter community it's a real <laughs> game we are taking a part at first when it was announced i didn't understand what is it and yes i, I was thinking oh this it's a, such commitment i'm not ready for it <laughs> but after a month I understood that oh it's nothing so special I, I I am knitting anyway so I can took part and knit the same things anyway so and other thing it there is a small part that I'm more organized about what I really want and what I really need to knit because always this messy things in my head that there's so many designs and I can't choose. I have done my choice and uh, I would love to share with you. 
and beside of that bingo game there is a one more game which is more for inspiration you made a collage from super old patterns uh, which you would love to knit but you haven't or for your future plans yes this is it <laughs> this is it and um, I hope I can add more something for this. I would love to show you how I uh, I I have been I have been uh, organized my wardrobe, so I have one more place for my knits. What else I can show you? Mm -hmm. We'll see. <laughs> so no pressure. Uh, Thank you that you was here. I wish you a wonderful weekend. Uh, of course, a me time. Do what you love and what makes you happy. Bye. I just stopped to film a podcast part and special episode. And I want to show you how I'm organizing now my needs. <laughs> I have now one more drawer more. It has been only one, but now I have two, and here I am putting more warmer things, which I am not uh, planning to wear soon, because they are very warm. And yes, and this is just very big. <laughs> and in this I have what I am usually planning to wear, what I am wearing in my daily life, and what I am planning to wear during the summer too so there is a top also it's a cardigan I washed this all new things and yes I'm happy that I have more place but I understand that it's not enough I need more therefore I really hoping to knit out all my uh, old stash yarn and just to free up this place for new needs <laughs> for my new needs because right now it's just uh, some space where I'm cluttering yarn and some supply things from uh, for knitting and small projects there is socks and some scrunchies so yes it is so also i forgot to show you what i made on tuesday uh, when i am spending time in online chat with latin knitters so this will gonna be a seal <laughs> it doesn't look like right now as a seal but i just knit on the go and now I am on a head and I decide this will gonna be our knitting chat project and I hope this yarn will gonna be enough okay I'm not knitting I'm all the time telling that I need but it's a crochet project so ta-da I'm here I have beautiful very beautiful oh 40 my 40 animals is here beautiful earrings uh, soon there will be also a etsy shop but for now i will add only uh, instagram account and they are super light i really love them very very light and look so good your look are ever like elevated so in, in so higher uh, level because i really feel very feminine in this sorry this is my dog <laughs> yes very beautiful i can do something like this I, I'm always are impressed about those who are making jewelry, jewelry, how you spell this word, but yes, I'm always impressed, so very beautiful. <laughs>